action thorough. Now, what about making investigations cautious? How do you be cautious? Here's what we mean. Your ship's in a collision. Your ship goes into condition zebra. You're ordered to investigate a nearby compartment. Where there's smoke, there's probably fire. At least you can count on gases. So what do you do? You pop in, and you don't come out. Central doesn't hear about it. The fire keeps burning unchecked. The ship is in mortal danger, and you, you get carried out. Never enter a compartment where you suspect fire, flooding, or gas without having a tender standby. Properly activate your OBA before entering a questionable compartment. When you suspect fire, never open without covering with high velocity fog and never stand in direct line of the opening as you may be in the path of fire. If you suspect gases, asphyxiating, combustible or toxic, do your work quickly and get out. Get a flame safety lamp and don't forget the hydrocarbon vapor indicator. Make the voltage adjustment and correct the zero reading. Pass the extension tube into the compartment. If the reading remains below 0.2, an explosive mixture is not present in the compartment. And don't forget to turn off the switches. That's it. Tender always stays outside. If the flame safety lamp blacks out, there's not enough oxygen to support life. If it flares up and goes out with a pop, you have combustible gases. The compartment must be ventilated before repair work can begin. No, you don't ventilate it. You tell your repair station. They'll get specially trained men to do the job. This time you're on your way back to the repair locker. Hmm, water somewhere where it's not supposed to be. That's it. Tell Central. Give them the complete dope, including cable number. They'll probably want to shut off the power in that line. But what about the depth of water on the other side of that bulkhead? That's it. Use the air test cap. Water. That means the water higher than the air test cap. How high is it? Tapping is a good way to find out. Higher. Higher. Good. That's it. That's the height of the water. Yes, Central wants to know how high the water is. What about the compartment below? Maybe it's flooded too. Trouble breeds trouble. Aha! Air under compression. Water below, too. How deep? Well, if the compartment has a sounding tube, use it.
Chalking the weight will give you a quicker, more accurate reading of the water's depth if it is less than the length of the weight. Let's see, about two feet of water below. That's the kind of job the Navy requires. Thorough and cautious.